rounded edges, is that really worth a video? Yeah, let me show you what I'm so excited about, how this is going to take my lives and your lives to a whole nother level by just looking like we've got someone doing a lot of design work for us. And it's all done here inside Ecamm. But let's have a look. Now, for example, I'm sharing my screen. Let's zoom in on this app. And typically this would have been me. Uh, I'm picture in picture, I'm sitting up here in the corner and uh, this is kind of how I would have done a screen share. I'm working away down here, uh, I sit up in the top corner. That's okay, in fact, I'm gonna change this scene here to old. And what we're gonna do is firstly bring this over to, let's just clone this one across first of all. And uh, rather than me using picture in picture, which actually, uh, I don't know that it's being phased out as such, but it's it's pretty limited in what I can do here with this picture in picture. I still can't pick it up from any other side other than one to adjust it. So let's turn that picture in picture off. And what I'm gonna do is bring a video overlay in. And you're thinking, well, Adrian, that doesn't look much more exciting. Let's flick this around. Let's go to custom size over here anyway, so that we can adjust this. In fact, no, let's, I think, let's just start off with a square one. And this is where we start to see the differences. Let's take them overlays off. Let's try, I'll, I'll put it this side and then it's it's not quite as messy over there. So I can adjust and put on this now a border. And if I don't just want it to be white, maybe I want to brand it up in my colors. I can do this. I can adjust actually the opacity of it if I don't want it to be solid so that um, you can still, you can see the writing there coming through underneath it or just taking it solid. Now, that's lovely. And actually I can imagine straight away, you know, that's taken this and it looks more professional. In fact, I gotta say, <laughs> slightly embarrassed, I was actually having a go at doing this and I thought, you know, when originally it's doing this for us and there's no frame, I thought, I'd like to put like a little white border around it. And I actually made a white circle, transparent background, brought it in and I, lined it up behind that one. Really amateur. Um, <laughs> now I can do it just by simply attaching a border width to it. Oh, I think that looks so much better straight away. Now, if I wanted to change this shape to a square, notice that I've got this little grid on here and uh, check out on the main thumbnail here. When I click, let's go top right first of all, it's just rounded that edge and I can work round and I can either turn them all rounded like this and I can adjust the radius of that, how curved the edges are. I can adjust the width of it. <laughs> oh, this is cracking, isn't it? Um, or I can kind of, you know, maybe I leave just one like that. Maybe that's a, a nice sort of design that I can tuck it up there or leave it, I don't know, probably in this one actually, I wouldn't, I'd leave them all the same and I, yeah, I quite like that. All right, so there we go. There's there's straight away now we've gone from this one to this one and it's already looking better. Now I'm slightly overlapping here on videos. I just made another video on screen share overlays and I'm just gonna show you again how that works on this one really. If I, instead of me being in a screen share mode, let's go back to a, a blank background and um, now what I can do with that is I can bring in that same screen share and I can frame it up. So I still wanna bring in that Chrome window, but look, it's it's now picked up and it's, it's remembered this uh, sizing that I've just put on this other one. And if I go to a custom size again, I can now sort of make this fit and I could adjust my window down here to be the same sort of proportion. I'm so excited for this. I'm not a designer really, and I kind of look sometimes at people that have got really nice frames and stuff done, and I think, oh, I like that. I'm doing it now here in Ecamm. I don't have to go off and use another tool to do it. If I think I don't want to see the URL and the frame around this, well, I can now hit option and drag down on here, and it crops it out. Doesn't that look smart? So now all of a sudden, uh, let's go again. I will need to make the window fit. It'll obviously, what's gonna happen here, Ecamm, although I've cropped it, if I'm then sort of pushing it and trying to get more out of it, I've gotta make sure that my window is to the same proportion of what I'm asking it. But yeah, what do you think? We reasonably even up there. So all of a sudden, we've gone now from this old one, which um, I've kind of messed up now with the shape of it. 
It was like this. Uh, let's tweak this a little bit. That's going to be wrong in here now. Let's make. Let's see what size we got. That's the shape of it down there when you look at it. So um, as I say, we've got to keep in that proportion with it. So I, I'm messing it up a little bit because I'm trying to fit in with that one up there. But you can just see what I'm saying, can't you? That there is what we have been doing and it's been okay and it's been quite cool that actually, hey, look, I can have a picture in picture up there. But um, certainly I think that looks way more professional. Uh, maybe our comments, for instance, could come in along the bottom down here. Um, somebody's comment comes in and uh, there we go you know that comment sort of fits in at the bottom there and it's not messing up over what we're doing over here so <laughs> do you like this you can see how um, these rounded edges uh, the borders the frames uh, I, I love it uh, thank you Ecamm now I can kind of overlay these as well actually we were just saying about the shape of this one being a bit off maybe we want to go full size with this and uh, that one there, notice this one here at the minute is stuck behind it. If I right click on it, I can say bring to front. And look, I can actually sort of frame this up over there or I don't know. We could do something clever like that. And now I'm actually sitting kind of over the front of that. That's all right, actually. I'm just having a play with that and I quite like that. Okay, so um, rounded edges. What have we done? We've done a video overlay there. We've got a screen share. Um, Let's lose this for a minute and um, what maybe we bring some text in because text we can apply these round edges to as well. So what I might do down here is put my round edges on. Let's pop my name in and uh, in it comes. Now, uh, unfortunately, whether this will change because this is dynamic, um, that curve on it is the same whether it's squashed in like this or whether it's large. Notice how that kind of changes. It doesn't sort of adjust with it. Whereas up here, when I click on this, I can change it and you can see it all happening live and I can set this to it. When I come down to this one, if I make changes down here, nothing applies until I hit save and come out of that. I'm sure there are very good reasons why that needs to be. But again, couldn't do this before really, couldn't put this frame on here. Round edges were in there, but we couldn't do this um, nice feature of adjusting it. So for instance, I was just playing on this a um, few minutes ago. To be honest, I <laughs> just recorded this video, got to the end and ScreenFlow crashed on me. So I'm actually running this through a second time, but you don't need to know that. Uh, so what about this sort of thing? If I were to drop this at the bottom here and I can just take it off the edge of the window, I don't actually need a, a shadow on this, I don't think. But I'm going to say instead of fixed position, what about flying up in from the bottom? And uh, so notice that when I, here's my name over here, when I close it, it disappears down like this and comes back in the same way. Now, if I, let's bring myself back in, let's be on camera here. So this would be when this would be more useful. Probably wouldn't have the picture in picture up there, but uh, I could do this and, uh, Actually, that really is going off on a tangent, but we could do this with a timer that said, you know, open the scene up, uh, wait for so many seconds, and then um, you're going to make this thing appear up from the bottom. And again, after a few seconds, go to the next scene where this transitions and disappears away. Um, I don't know. Lots of things we could do. Actually, could you transition to close it? I don't know that you can. You could certainly make it appear. Yeah, I love that feature. So uh, again, rounded edges, uh, strokes as they're called, uh, these borders around them. You could do a lot of cool things with this. I'm going to come back one more time. Let's just, uh, I'm loving this. I am. <laughs> Let's start again with that blank source behind here. And um, where was I? I'm sure I'm on one of the cameras at least. So now uh, what about this thinking for our interviews? Could I start like this? I might even, let's lose that name for now. Maybe I come in like this and then let me, if I, so my name could sit up here. I can actually send in the same way that we just brought that other picture forwards. I could now bring this one to the front so that it does away with that little, the white frame at the bottom of it, the white border at the bottom of it there. Don't know. Do I like that? Maybe not. What I can do is option and drag this across. And so I could now set in this one. What you've got to be careful of is with your mouse. I sometimes let go of this and it changes the size. 
that's about it. <laughs> what I could then do is change this and uh, set this up to be guest one and a uh, guest's name could be over there. Or maybe I do away with this and I actually bring in some branding. Uh, pop that up in the center. Let me get rid of this. I can set these to be both centered up on the sides. Again, uh, it's looking nice, isn't it? Branding things up. I could change the colors around of this frame over here. Let's stick with our Ecamm orange. Same on this side. Yeah, I like that. I think that's uh, all of a sudden it's taken us from a, a very simple, this kind of thing we were talking about, uh, or even if I went back to a camera mode and then I brought my guest in, you know, this is, this is typically what I would be doing, but now all of a sudden we can be showing up and looking like this. Uh, all kind of ways that we can play with this. I could bring that comments in, have it sitting in between us, loads of things, names popping up, stuff like that. Um, very exciting. So uh, yes, rounded edges, We've gone a little bit off on a tangent there. In fact, I didn't even show you uh, bringing a, a, a comment in like this from a guest. We can also apply it to those as well. Exactly the same things, you know, do we want them square or rounded at the edges? Um, a, a margin, a border, a background color. In fact, I probably ought to change the background color of this one because it's, um, let's change the text color. I don't know, I'm all over the place with this now. Change the name, might set my border is the same color on there. That's not very clever of me. There we go. Um, uh, let's really round up those edges. So yeah, if we come off of square and went to custom, we could allow space at the bottom of there. I don't know. You are probably way more creative than me at doing all this. Uh, what, what can you come up with? Uh, actually, that's not so bad. <laughs> I'm quite liking that. There we go. So guest and myself there and a potential space for people's comments to appear. And again, uh, in the same way that we brought that text in, we can set this to come up fly in from the bottom. So when I get that comment appear over in my comments and I want to select it and say, yep, yeah, bring it onto the page. I can do this and Steve's comment comes on there. Bless him, I keep picking on this. It's the only one that seems to be saved in here. Um, that's not true actually, there's another one here from Adam, but we haven't branded that. So yeah, I'm absolutely loving this and I'm thinking that some of you would probably now, can't wait to get to the end of the video to go and open a P-cam and have a play with it. Uh, have some fun, enjoy, uh, let us know how you get on. I would love to hear from you in the comments. Uh, by all means, tag me in something, although you probably won't be able to put a link in. Reach out to me, There's, you know how to get hold of me. i uh, love to see what you're doing. And uh, yeah, give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it as ever. There's plenty more videos in here to go and have a look through. I'll see you in one of those. Thanks a lot, see ya.